So as we know, ChatGPT recently released two separate types of plans. We have the original plus, and then we got the new one of Teams. In today's video, we're gonna check out Teams here, see the downsides, the upsides, and basically you're gonna learn whether you would want to upgrade to Teams for zero cost. So make sure to like right away, and let's jump into today's video. Welcome back y'all. So a couple things have changed. First thing that's changed, I have realized for the past two months or month, I have been recording my face cam in 1920 by 1080. You might be saying, that's fine. That works perfectly fine. This is a 4K camera. So we're finally recording my face cam in 4K. That's the first thing. Second thing, I have tweaked the audio a little bit because I have gotten responses in regards to my audio. So let me know if my audio sounds good on your end, if you need it higher, lower, whatever it may be. And lastly, here's some quick math. So basically in order to upgrade to Teams, Teams we are going to have to either pay $60 a month or $600 a month. Your choice. We're going to jump into the implications of this and stuff of this nature. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's down in the description down below. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so in order to access this, you're just going to open up your sidebar and click Upgrade Plan. Once you do that, you are prompted with a choice here. So right now I'm on Plus. But supposedly with the Teams plan, let me zoom in, y'all. We have a couple of new features here. We got higher message caps, the ability to create workspaces, for GBTs, admin and console for workspace management. And then a big one that I know a lot of you've been asking for is no training on your data. Let's go ahead and upgrade, shall we? Let's go ahead and call our workspace web cafe AI. Select billing options. And here we are prompted with the billing options. So if you are a company that uses Chad GBT within your systems, you may be incentivized to go with the annual plan. If you are like me, which is very much, I just offload a lot of my work to software, you probably would go with the flexible plan. With that being said, the first downside of the ChatGPT teams is that they require two seats, which makes sense. But if you were a solo user of ChatGPT and you actively use ChatGPT, and the biggest selling point to you maybe from that was not training on data, it kind of puts you in a weird position where they're basically making you do two. I can't go less than that. That kind of sucks. And that being said though, I'm personally just gonna choose the flexible plan here because I think I'm gonna stay a plus unless this really wows me. And we're gonna proceed with $60 a month here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so payment was successful. It took me through their Stripe processor. Also, I'm not too sure if my camera's lagging right now, so if you see that, I'll go ahead and fix that in the next video. But we're already so far in, might as well keep going here. Once we have successfully paid the $60, which hurts my heart, I wish I could have just paid 30, I'm gonna hit continue here. So basically from here, it seems like I can invite specific team members here, even up to the point of uploading a CSV of the team members within my team. For now though, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. Continue to chat GPT. And here we go. So let me go ahead and screenshot that so we can put that on Twitter for anyone that wants to know what that looks like. And we got a couple things here. So we got made for use at work by default chat is in this workspace and are not used to train our AI models. Keep that in mind. Chat GPT can answer questions, help you learn, write code, brainstorm together and much more. We knew that. Check your facts. So while we have safeguards, chat GPT may give you inaccurate information. Need to put that for legal reasons, as if you deal with companies, you don't want to get sued. Let's go. All right. So then what is your primary role? Okay, almost. Okay, cool. This is almost like a, a Slack channel. We're going to go to say you got team member, manager, student, executive, director, business owner, freelancer, other. We'll go with the business owner here. It's interesting. I'm, I'm actually curious why they do this. I think this is just for their statistics, maybe. Uh, select all the supply or apply for why we're using this. Let's say marketing. Uh, we'll say operations. Oh. Okay, engineering and customer experience. Okay, continue here. Okay, so I'm thinking that was purely for their use case here. I'm gonna go ahead and fly over here so we can kind of check out this bar to our left. So what we got on the bar here? So we got invite members. This is how we basically invite members. It's gonna be sending an email. We got our underlying profile here. Okay, interesting. So they've actually distinguished whether between we're in a workspace or we're in our personal account. I'm assuming if we're in our personal account, that is where they train on your data. So keep on that, keep that in mind. From here, we got manage workspace. Okay, interesting. And we are brought to this UI here. So from this UI, we got a couple of things. We got the members and it actually seems like the only thing we got right now is the members and pending invites. So just two things in our current workspace here, obviously billing, let's see what we got in settings. Okay, so manage whether members can use GBTs. Also, this is, I'm completely new to this as well. So we're learning together. Uh, use GBTs created outside your workspace. These can be allowed. Okay, so interesting. If people create GBTs within your workspace, 
take a couple steps back. If they want to use GPTs created outside your workspace, we can basically say whether we allow that or not. Due to the fact that you may have sensitive information and data in your business, you may not want to do this. I'm going to say don't allow. As you see, this is the enterprise level is all of this for your associated workspace. Okay. Analytics, enterprise only. Identity and provisioning, enterprise only. Let's go back to chat. Now that we're in chat here, here is a pretty big statistic here. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that as well. Check me on Twitter. Uh, we got basically limit to 100 messages every three hours. I believe the current one for plus is 40 or 50 messages. So maybe 100% increase. And then we still have the ability to access plugins here. And let's just go in and see new chat. And let's just say hello. Let's see if there's any type of UI change in the underlying Teams chat here. Also, I just noticed it has my workspace name under there and says we don't train on this data. Pretty standard stuff here. We can still share the link of the chat here, but only members of your workspace with the URL will see the latest messages in this conversation. I'm assuming this is going to be very within the ecosystem of the workspace. Like I couldn't share this chat to like anyone on Reddit, basically. From here, we can also add custom instructions to your workspace, which is interesting. Customize your interactions with ChatGPT by providing, okay, we understand this already. I'm curious though on whether this is going to affect every single chat for every single user in your workspace or is it just specific to you? I'm assuming it's just specific to you as that would make most sense as if you're a marketer within the business comparative to maybe an operations person, you'd probably want different custom instructions here, but this is standard. We still have this in the other plus version. All right, let's go to my GBTs here. Okay, cool. So for my GBTs here, a couple of things we need to take note of. First thing we want to take note of is the fact that there is no third-party GBTs because I actually disabled that. So let me go ahead and re-enable that real quick. I'm going to hit allow all. And then I believe we should see this in our settings now. I'm going to go back to chat and we're going to go to my GBTs possibly. So this is actually more in the context that if a user within your workspace brings a GBT outside of it. So it seems like when I just hit my GBTs though, we are just given the simple UI of creating GBTs like we have in the plus version. And here's a kicker. We already know how to create GBTs, and if you don't, you can learn everything that comes to creating GBTs at the end here or at that special playlist. But the Basically, the value point here of why businesses would use this in this context is you would create GBTs associated with different departments within your business. For example, let's say we want to create a marketing one. In theory, we would create a marketing GBT here. We would put in relevant knowledge base files based off information we know about a business that is sensitive information and kind of proceed from there. So once I create my marketing GBT here and I hit, basically we have a bunch of different options here, right? Only me, anyone at Web Cafe AI and everyone. So let's just go with anyone at Web Cafe AI, hit confirm. This is going to make it now that people within your business can go ahead and start grabbing specific GBT. So let's say you have a marketing department. Okay, let's jump over to the marketing department GBT and we're going to go ahead and play around with this. And then, you know, we get to like, uh, X, Y, Z, we get to like some endpoint in the marketing GBT. Maybe I want to send the, the end conversation or the end value point from this marketing GBT to another person within the business. I'd come up here, I'd hit copy link and I would share it in a Slack channel. That's kind of where this is going here. So that being said, my first impressions of this is very much so that you would probably only use this in a company that you have at least 10, 20 plus employees, 10 plus employees. If your company has sub 10 employees, you can still go the traditional route of everyone has a plus account and they just share data like that. Now, that being said, it actually might be more cost effective if you dig a team's plan and basically all users in theory, I would assume would basically get access with their company email, right? So it's up to your discretion. This is nice as it does centralize a lot of the information within GBT, which can be useful. But as a person who personally uses GBT every single day, I don't see the value for my specific use case. With that being said, we can simply go back to your personal account by clicking personal account here and proceed. So there's also additional features within each workspace as if you click this, we can actually create multiple workspaces. So instead of maybe having an overarching Web Cafe AI, maybe you would have Web Cafe Marketing Department, Web Cafe Operations Department and stuff of this nature as all you do is create a new team here and basically proceed from there. And then you can basically probably associate different users to different parts of your new workspace ecosystem here, right? We even have roles over there. I mean, kind of proceed in that matter. So that kind of covers most of the user interface when it comes to teams. What I will say is that for the cost of basically going with the annual plan of $600 a month, I could see having a larger return on investment on an entire year for the amount of productivity you could receive from the team's plan for your team. 
or employees, I could definitely see the value there. I could 100% see it. The, the question more isn't, this isn't worth it if you have multiple employees. The question more is, does your employees actually know how to leverage it in order to get that return on investment? As this very much can give you a lot of insight on basically being able to structure and start leveraging artificial intelligence in the context of day-to-day -day task within your business. That being said though, this is all early days still, and it seems like you would basically still need to have some level of threshold when understanding how to communicate with these models, as that is still a pretty big educational curve that could hinder the value you receive for $600. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to leave a like. Me personally, I'm going back to the plus. I don't need a team's plan, maybe in the future, I will need a team's plan, but as of right now, I'm gonna stick with the plus. I like my $20 a month, even though I just spent 60. It still kind of hurts. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I just rewatched it. This was a little laggy, y'all. I'm gonna make sure I fix my camera, but make sure to check out that playlist if you wanna learn more about GBTs and how to start leveraging them. That playlist or that video down there, I have no clue, but YouTube said you'd like it. And make sure to subscribe for daily artificial intelligence content.